Hi, I'm Rob Barber and I'm really excited about our brand new concept cooking program where we pair, cook and taste each dish, get this, during the ad breaks. That's right, a first for Townsville. And not only will we showcase all the highlights in our Twin City region, you're going to love our homegrown seafood, salad and pasta recipes, all indicative to our tropical lifestyle. Crumbs, I'm cooking, coming soon to this channel. Hello and welcome to the first in our series of Crumbs I'm Cooking and just take a look at my kitchen. What a, what a picture! Fridge to boot. In the far distance is Castle Hill, a historic landmark. Immediately behind me is the Breakwater Marina. Home and host to literally hundreds of boats that travel up and down our east coast. Access to that marina is through this waterway and out into Cleveland Bay, which brings us to our recipe today. Cleveland Bay crab cakes and tarragon butter sauce. And truly, you're gonna love this recipe. And it's just dead easy. Let's take a look at these crabs we've got here. Absolutely fantastic. Full, firm sand crabs. Supplied to us by Ingham Road. Many thanks to Brian and Donna and all the gang down there. When you're breaking these crabs up, be sure to make sure you take nice, big, large chunks. I mean, this is what these crab cakes are all about. And whatever you do, don't go out and buy a, a tin of crabs, crab meat. It won't work. It just simply doesn't work. You go to all this effort and be very, very disappointed. So, okay, we've got our crabs. Let's look at our ingredients that we're going to make our crab cakes out of today. Look at this. Great big chunky pieces of crab meat. Absolutely fantastic. You're just going to love this recipe. So the other ingredients we're looking at now is we've got breadcrumbs will be folded into the crab meat with a big handful of parsley. As well, we've got mayonnaise, mustard, lemon juice, some seasoning and also Worcestershire sauce. Just a little tiny dab of that. Well, it's time for us to put these ingredients together now. So of course, we'll add one of the base or main ingredients to this meal is parsley and about, about a half a handful straight into the crab meat, straight in like that and fold fold that through. And then we're going to add just enough breadcrumbs to absorb the moisture. Not too much, otherwise you're going to end up with just basically a big hard dry ball. So working that in around the crab. Now we set that aside now, that's come up rather nicely. We'll leave that and we're going to prepare our mixture to go in. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab one egg Give that a light whisk. Look at that lovely, lovely golden yolk. Straight from the next door neighbor's chook pen, this came. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to add two tablespoons of mayonnaise to that. Now to that, we're going to add roughly a tablespoon of mustard powder. Again, a good whisk. Gee, that smells great. Okay, our next ingredient is a tablespoon of lemon, and dare I say it, just a dash of Worcestershire sauce. Now what we're going to do with this is we're going to fold this through the crab. Again, I emphasize that when you're doing this that you ensure that you don't break up these great big chunks of crab meat. Fold it around with our hands. We form these into small balls. Around about this size. Look at all these pieces of crab meat. That's exactly the way we want it to be. These go onto the plate. Cover them with a cling film or a cling wrap. Put them into the fridge for around about an hour so that they can set and the egg can start to work through and firm everything up. And with the beauty of television, we'll have done that. We'll be back in a second and we'll start cooking our crab cakes in a clarified butter. final stages now of our cooking process with our Cleveland Bay crab cakes and they are just coming up fantastically. Lovely golden brown, not too dark. All these big chunks of crab meat have stayed in into the crab cake nicely as we predicted they would when we were originally talking about it. 
And for our sauce, white wine vinegar, clarified butter, seeded tomato and tarragon. Reduce your white wine vinegar, add your clarified butter, also your seeded tomato. Give that a stir around, oh, it smells great. Add the tarragon, little bit of parsley, little bit of a stir, ready to go. Now I've just got, just about got every ingredient covered here, but there is one ingredient that I've left in the fridge. And I'll leave that there for a special reason. So without any further ado, I'll just bring out my latest ingredient, and that ingredient is, it is chef extraordinaire, Michelle Flores from Michelle's Cafe and Bar. Michelle, Hello, welcome. How are you? Good, Good to see you. Spot. Isn't it a lovely spot? Uh, lovely seen. kitchen? Yes. You like this spread? Open air. Yes. I think it's wonderful. wonderful. Just as we've done here today, and and of course, uh, I've, I've asked you to come along because uh, who else could I get but to adjudicate on, on my crab cakes and give me yeah. a score out of, out of 10? I, Certainly. Uh, look, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of uh, tarragon butter sauce yeah. over the top that there. That goes well with the crab. It does go well, doesn't it? Well, it just cuts in nicely, the tarragon cuts into the sweetness of the crab. Okay. I've not, I've not been looking to, for too high of a score. I mean, no. I, I know that you'll, uh, and you often get that little piece of crab shell mm. in there, which, mm. which proves yeah. that it's authentic mm. crab. I, I would definitely give you a two. Two, there you are. Two. One. One. Two. 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 Yeah, I might be no. too harsh. Well, I, I don't think it's what I, look, could we just turn that off for a minute? No. Okay, I turn the camera back on again there, that's fine, that rolling. Now, now uh, out of 10, Michelle, if you could just uh, give me an indication of, of, of what you feel. And, uh, the, the more I try, the more I like it, I... I that might be nice on the restaurant, mm. in your restaurant. Mm. Uh, I think perhaps a four, four would be... Four. 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 Okay, you pop that camera back on again now. Uh, Michelle okay. Flores, uh, out of 10, uh, how would you rate the... Uh, okay. Hmm. You know, with the, with the sauce, yes. the tarragon does hit it well. How about an eight? Eight. Absolutely fantastic. Michelle Flores, Michelle's Cafe and Bar, number eight, for the crab cakes on crumbs I'm cooking. And I think food and the tropics, what a wonderful combination. Oh, yes. Absolutely wonderful. I mean, look where we live. Have a look at this out here. Oh, it's simply, simply stunning, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. I mean, it's a tough job, but really, somebody. <laughs> but someone's got to do somebody it. Somebody has right. to do it, Michelle. Someone's got to do it. Said. Cheers to you. Here's cheers to us. And cheers to you. We hope you enjoyed the first in our series of Crumbs I'm Cooking. We'll look forward to seeing you again shortly on this channel. Bye for now.